Right then guys, so I'm back out doing a bit more power harrowing. Um, this is the field I power harrowed not long ago on the video. Um, we've had to redo it because we had a nice big storm of rain before you know we could seed it um, which means you know the ground's gone a little bit hard on top so I'm just going to blast over it I'm going reasonably fast now um, it's just to loosen the soil up so I can get the, um, the old grass box out and sort of spread the seed on top and then roll it back in um, if we had a drill we wouldn't have to worry about doing this again because that sort of slots it into the soil anyway but we use um, we got spring tines and then on top's a box like a little spinner and it spins the seed out um, but yeah so I'm just out doing this what I'm going to do now I'll do a few questions because I've got my phone on me um, well, one more thing um, the other day I went down to Red Lynch and they, Martin the person who sold us the tractors said he's seen some of these videos and he said that, I need something grippy to go up there, on a steep hill, he said he's seen the video of picking up the new tractor and he wasn't actually here when we picked those tractors up he was on holiday so he never got to see us take them away and he said that if he'd realized these tractors didn't have fuel he would have filled them up so in compensation which was nice of him He's given us some stainless steel fitted mirror guards for these. So that was nice of him. And that's probably more than a tank of fuel costs us, but that was nice of him to do. Um, so yeah, I thought I'd just tell you that. Um, to say, you know, they, they realized they didn't give us fuel and they've given us stuff instead, which is nice. But, um, yeah, on to a few questions and things. I will get my phone out. Just chuck that there. Unlocked. Questions. Here we go. So, first question from I have no idea, quite a few people. Uh, what's my favourite job? Um, my favourite job is probably, right, sorry about that, I just had a phone call. Right, so what was my favourite job? Yeah, so favourite job probably um, straw hauling, uh, I enjoyed working with the contractors doing the silage so that's probably up there on one of my uh, more favourite jobs. Um, how old am I? I'm 19. Um, how many horsepower has the tractor's got? Okay, so at the moment I'm in the 720, which has got 200 horsepower, and the other tractor is a 716, which is the 160 horsepower tractor. Um, I've got these horsepower tractors because that's what we need. Uh, any bigger and it would be a bit oversized, any smaller and we wouldn't be able to run the kit that goes behind the tractors easily. Um, but yeah, no, that's, that's what we've got. I mean, we've got a little, I think it's like 70 horsepower, less than that, I mean, 50 horsepower um, scraper tractor. Um, and then obviously we've got our JCB uh, 541-70 Super Agri. Um, loader um, people asking how much these tractors cost now generally I don't like talking about money too much because 
it can be a bit of a touchy subject for people. Um, we got, I will, yeah, I will say roughly how much. I'm not going to say exactly how much we paid for each tractor, but um, we paid 150. Well, we haven't paid it. We've the deal was 150,000 pounds for both tractors, and that swapped in our 66. Uh, 20 John Deere which was broken completely knackered and our 6920 which wasn't so knackered which was quite a good valued tractor um, but yeah it was 150,000 I'm not going to say you know exactly down to the pence but as a ballpark it was 150 grand for both um, we aren't paying for them outright because I don't think anyone's got the money to do that nowadays. So we have got um, financial packages, which is uh, there's zero percent APR, so we don't pay interest on them for the first I think it's three years or something like that. So we just pay them in a monthly instalment and pay these tractors off of over you know five six years. Um, that's how we're sort of affording them. It's not because we've won the lottery, how, I don't know how wonderful that would be, but we are paying them off monthly. Um, so that's sort of how we're affording these tractors. Uh, on to the next question. What's my biggest cock up? <laughs> I like that question. Um, biggest cock up, that has got to be. I haven't had any major cock ups with machinery really. Um, I haven't broken anything touch woods yet. Uh, my biggest cock up was probably at, it was about five o'clock in the morning. I left a gate open in the winter and all about 150 cows decided it was time to go out. So yeah, at five o'clock in the morning, all the cows were skipping around the farm in the middle of winter. Mm -hmm. Uh, Dad was not too pleased that morning. <laughs> um, I mean, I've had a few minor things. I had my finger jammed in a grinder the other day, and I was lucky not to get that grabbed and ripped off. Um, I've had a few little close calls of... I don't know. I don't know, I haven't done too badly really. I generally try and stay nice and careful because, you know, it's your equipment, it's your farm, you try and look after it the best you can, so you tend to drive a little bit slower and just sort of respect what you're doing. You know, these machines are dangerous if you use them the wrong way, so, you know, you've got to respect them and use them the right way. Um, what would I change on the fence? Right, this, hopefully, somewhere out there in Fentland will get this message. These buttons here are the wrong way round. Okay, plus should be at the top. Minus should be at the bottom. Switch it round. It just doesn't make sense. Plus, plus shouldn't be at the plus is up. I don't get it. That's what, that's the one thing I just don't get on these fents is those buttons are the wrong way round. <laughs> right, so that's that. Where are we? Um, we are in England, um, in Somerset. We're just outside of Bath. Um, yeah, I can't really say much more than that. Yeah, we're in Somerset, outside of Bath in England. Um, right. What's the max speed? These tractors go 55 kilometers an hour. Um, down a hill they go a little bit faster. <laughs> but generally you try not to run them too fast down hills because it cooks the engine a little bit. You get, get a bit warm. Um, the fastest I've been, I think 60, 62k down a hill. That was empty down a nice steep hill. The engine wasn't really revving that hard so I was quite happy. Um, how old was I when I learned to drive? Um, 
I was about eight, eight years old I think, on a Massey 135 scraper tractor. Um, at that age, I'm not exactly a big person, you can probably see my arms are quite small. Um, I um, wasn't heavy, well I wasn't strong enough to push the clutch in uh, on the old Massey. So I had to stand up and hold the steering wheel and pull myself down on the steering wheel to push the clutch in so I could change gear. <laughs> so I've been learning since I was physically able to drive the tractors. Um, so yeah, well that's that question done. Um, how many tractors do we have? Uh, we have two Fence, a McCormick, um, the JCB, we will be getting a a smaller track, about 100 horsepower, second-hand old tractor just to sit on the feeder, and that's all it'll do. It'll just feed with that. You know, it's a bit less overkill than having a great big fence sat on a feeder wagon. Um, 